recorded live in Austin, Texas, USA. It's the William Montgomery Show. Starring William Montgomery and the devious Casey Rocket. With the Tony Chin Orchestra. The William Montgomery Jr. Dancers. As always, William is joined by the lovely Erica. I'm Casey Rocket. And now here he is, the big red machine, the Memphis Strangler, William Montgomery. Thank you. This is the energy I'm going to bring, that Rob Springer. Are you Amish? Oh, you know, I don't know. I was thinking that was the Hitler thing. What was his? <laughs> At the beer hall push thing? Yeah. Yeah. What that's was that called? The, well, that's the Reichstag, I think, actually. No. The Reichstag. That no. was his personal yeah. Army yeah. and stylist. I mean, mm-hmm. Yeah, his yeah. hairstylist. Yeah, it was Mrs. Reichstag. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I know not a lot of history people know that that they got mm-hmm. Reichstag from his hairdresser. Is it, if you can huh. find a good hairdresser, your things are looking up. Yeah, wow. everything's that much easier. I mean, say what you want about the Nazis, but they had style. You know, the uniforms, the hair. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. You- but Rumsfeld is really interesting, though. Uh, are we are we started yet? <laughs> okay. We're talking I'm, about Rumsfeld. I'm gonna. Okay. Well, I think it's interesting. It's like where Amish get to decide if they want to stay Amish, right? Mm-hmm. And they get to go out and party and shit. And apparently, they party really fucking hard. You yeah. Know? yeah. That television show. Yeah. Yeah. Amish uh-huh. for a day, uh-huh. human for a lifetime. Yes, uh-huh. I was trying to think of the name. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Did you see that one? I never saw that. Was that on PBS by any chance? PBS Kids, yeah. Yeah, oh, there okay. they are. Yeah, that was Amish. On, what was it called again? Amish, Amish for, for a day, human for a lifetime. Yep. So is this about like non-Amish people and Amish people switching places? Yeah, it's like a wife swap thing. Yes. Oh. Yeah. So these people are about to go to Rum Spring, uh, but they don't know yet, so... They switch with another family who's already gone through it. Oh, interesting. <laughs> I, if I was yeah. thinking about like an Amish wife swap, like uh, in the sack, that'd probably be like fun. You know what I'm saying? Like you fun in bed, it. having yeah, sex with yeah, the Amish like, lady. With the Amish lady, like you could like really blow her mind and not even try that hard. You <laughs> well, know? What, what if her husband's a freak, dude? Maybe it's maybe it could be an embarrassing. I mean, or do you think Amish people are freaks? I mean, this might be a negative stereotype, but I feel like they might mess around with animals, right? That's sort of where I would go with that. I don't even know if you should say, say some crazy shit like that. No, I, I don't. <laughs> yeah, be I, careful. I, just, I mean, this is an emergency <laughs> episode, Jack. And Jack, uh, thanks okay, so much for, for being Thank here. You. But yeah, Thank we, you for having me. We recorded with Pauly Shore a couple of uh, days ago, and yeah. uh, allegedly uh, the episode isn't yeah. going to come out. Yeah. So and he had know, H1N1. This is, this is a big step up from Pauly Shore. So if you guys are nervous, I understand. You know the great Jack Horner. Um, You're but, next in line. It yeah. goes, yeah. It goes. Polly, close second, right there. You, yeah. just so close, yeah. you can taste it. Exactly. And then Rogan's down here somewhere. You know, I'm up. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Uh, but to, to, <laughs> and be uh, careful. He literally, as Casey said, he had an H1N1, and he was using that microphone. Yeah. So has oh. your immune system right now? Yeah, it's um, a compromised. You know, I, I feel like that's kind of obvious just by looking at me that I have a compromised immune system. You know, it's kind of a vibe Stop. I give off. <laughs> you know, like, uh, especially after the pandemic, you know, it's it's hard to have a compromised immune system. Speaking of compromised immune systems. How come after the <laughs> pandemic, not pre-pandemic? Well, it's harder, right? By compared during the <laughs> pandemic. I'm not saying it's not always hard to have a compromised immune system. Yeah, but just well, after especially difficult. So it's interesting, like the psychology <laughs> behind it, though. It's like if you've always had a compromised immune system and you don't know anything different, it's just kind of what you're used to, right? Like you're used to getting sick. So is sure. it hard? Yeah. Yeah. Was the pandemic hard? Yeah. If anybody's watching this, no. if you have a compromised <laughs> immune system, how was the pandemic? Uh, yeah. Leave a comment. Um, yeah. So, leave us a comment about how your life during the pandemic was having yeah. a compromised immune system. Let us know how you got that compromised yeah. immune system and where you're going with it. Yeah. And are are you surprised that I lived through it too? Like just looking at me because I feel like <laughs> I look like the weakest of the herder. You know what I'm saying? Like you're the runt I, of the litter. Exactly. For sure. Yeah. You know. Uh, I, I want to say so. We're the something. head guy, at like working at an arcade or something. I'm getting vibes of like a Laser Quest arena or yeah. So we're, yeah, which is cool. Yeah, you look like you is swim it? with a shirt on. I run with a shirt on. <laughs> like you swim I swim with, with a shirt, a shirt on. on. Yeah, I, I, I do a lot of stuff with a shirt on. You know. Well, be Sex careful. You don't on. want you don't want uh, skin cancer. Oh my gosh! I was looking at my chest last night, y'all. 
and I was just at the dermatologist, but I swear something has come up. And Uh-oh. this and this time it don't look good. Do, do it's people, it don't look like the other ones. This so. time it's personal. Do yeah, people, it's got me. Do people with your kind of hair color the I should I say ginger is that offensive? I don't know. But are you like? Did you shit. have to go? Do you have to go to the dermatologist more because of your every six months, dude? Oh wow, that's crazy. That's they crazy. know him by yeah. name. There they yeah. go. Oh, it's a sick one. So <laughs> yeah, there's the sick guy, and then they fucking I pay the money, and then they start sending me text messages and emails asking for the money that I paid them. So it's like, what am I supposed to? I don't never pay they, cash. They, always leave a paper trail. Yes, yeah. they just yes. know you're rich and famous. That's what's going on there. Yeah, the people at the dermatologist. I, that's the why I went decided to go to that dermatology office. I'm like, y'all oh. know who I am, right? And they said yes. So I was like, okay, I can do yeah. business with y'all. So <laughs> And then you're like, why are you making eye contact with me right now? Why are you talking to me? Just, you know, that's where I would yeah. go with it. Yeah, I was Once thinking I, I don't mind necessarily if people are making eye contact or talking, but See I, I was thinking that I would say that because I'm famous and you're not supposed to talk to me if I'm famous, but it's probably because I'm autistic that I don't <laughs> like the eye contact. Like, you know, like both of you guys looking at me right now is like intense. Like, Scaring holy shit. You? Yeah, no, yeah, bet. a little bit, a little bit. Uh, <laughs> but I want to say something about compromised immune systems. This is mm. just a fun fact, okay? Fun fact about compromised immune systems. Mm. So <laughs> have you guys ever heard of chimerism or crimerism? This is the craziest shit I've ever heard of in my life. Is that where, like, babies' eyeballs are red? No, that's albinoism, I think, right? Albinism. Albinism, albinism. yeah. Yeah, um, but anyway. That's Kukai, the name of our first album. Yeah, Al- albinism. Al- albinism. Is albinism that, on the Alps. Is that a ska album? I feel like you guys give off ska vibes, jazz, well, something certainly. like that. How? Yeah, how would you describe it? I mean, I was playing one of the steel drums, so you're correct. It did yeah. have kind of an island vibe, but we were in the Alps. Like, it was kind of a snowy Interesting. thing. Yeah. So. It was like bringing the big island to the big slopes. It's kind of, oh. that was our vision. It was a yes. concept album. Yeah, and, you know, those people don't have the big island energy in the slopes, you know? <laughs> no. That's, that's really smart, dude, you know? I was Pull happy to kind of bring mind. a taste of the big island to sort of the locals and show them what we were all about. Yeah. yeah. For sure, for sure. I mean, we were, it was, it was a little scary though because dave matthews he started mm-hmm. playing at the place and people didn't like him and i mean we all know dave matthews is yeah. so wonderful so I, we yeah. were kind of just horrified it's like what kind of I shot know. does albinism have if <laughs> freaking dave matthews did, band yeah, yeah. he's walking off stage out. walking off stage going you don't want none of that yeah we're like uh, yeah i'm adjusting the steel yeah, drum on my neck uh, like oh, did, you guys, <laughs> yeah. did you guys get to uh you know meet him or uh crash into him as it were <laughs> we talked a I'm little a fan. bit we talked with dave yeah He's oh, a, was that one of his songs or wait, albums or something? Crash, Crashing, yeah. Crash oh. into me. Yeah, that one. <laughs> so wait, was it that Dave Matthews or just another guy named Dave Matthews? Because Dave Matthews is a pretty generic name, you know? It was that guy. It was oh. the big one. It was DMB. Oh. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. yeah. For sure. I feel b- bad for other musicians named Dave Matthews, you know? Actually, you know, isn't it kind of <laughs> narcissistic to have like the band named after you if you're not the only one putting in the work, right? For sure. Yeah. If you're like a basketball player and your parents yeah. had named you Michael Jordan. Jordan or something and yeah. it's like well there's already a good Michael <laughs> Jordan basketball player so it'd be hard to live up to yeah and, but think about Michael B Jordan man the actor that's killing it you know yeah yeah like I, I think I saw an interview with him once where like being like named Michael Jordan and being made fun of you know like motivated him to work really hard so it's, it's interesting but anyway the, I was yeah that's something. interesting yeah. psychology behind it that is. for and sure there he is psycholo- Michael B Jordan yeah, yeah no, Michael B Jordan yeah he's really talented he usually plays like black characters too so that's how talented he is you <laughs> he know it's a pass yeah and who's that oh, dave matthews that's, that's, that's okay. dave okay. matthews yeah yeah you know yeah and you wouldn't think his name's dave matthews necessarily but that's definitely dave matthews yeah yeah dave matthews from the big island <laughs> yeah i just yeah. i'll never forget that hey, look Mullen. of fear in his eyes as he's walking off stage like trust me boys you don't want none of that and we're going we got a 45 minute spot to fill. Yeah, we're looking at each other. We both had to wear these weird headphone things because mm-hmm. we had, it was real sensitive earring with our earring. It was the real altitude. sensitive hearing with the altitude. So it was oh. like, I was like, wait, what did he just say? Yeah. Like, what was that day? Hey, how long, yeah. how long before you guys got there did you start playing? Because I feel like you had time to adjust, right? Like, a couple of minutes. Yeah, a couple minutes. Wow. So that's, that's the answer crazy. to that question. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> he's I, getting off. We walk in the door. He's getting off. He's like, y'all don't want. Mm-mm. Like getting off stage or getting off? But I don't know. I think it was like some sort of probably just getting <laughs> off stage if I had to guess. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't even know. He wasn't trying to do the other one after that. 
after oh. what happened. He probably does it before he goes on stage to help calm his nerves. Calm his nerves. You know, so that makes sense. Do you ever do that? Out. No, never. I never have. That makes me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Would you ever? No, I, I want to go to heaven, William. So you don't do that kind of stuff? No, no, God's of course not. Watching. Yeah. But when you're married, you can jerk off. Well, no, when you're married, that you're that's when you're not supposed to jerk off like at all, you know. If you're thinking about your wife though when you're married, it's I I think Casey's correct. I think you're mm-hmm. allowed to do that. I've never no, thought about that. No, your, your, your wife is your jerk off. No. Right? I, man, if, I'd rather live with the sinners than die with the saints, man. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I mean, what if your wife one night has a headache or something? What are you going to do? I'm I'm mentally like praying for you guys in my head. Like I'm on the outwards, I'm joking along, but I'm mentally praying for you guys in my head. I was just thinking an Amish woman probably gives a mean hand job, right? Because she has to milk cows and shit. <laughs> mm. Ooh, I've never thought yeah, about that, that. Like those muscles are probably really like well formed and shit. Grant, do you agree? Do the Amish I mean, it's sound logic, yeah. I suppose. Yeah, I can't I, flaunt it. I, I can't was, flaunt it. Yeah, I can't. I can't flaunt it. I can't, well, I can't I'm, flaunt it. I'm, I'm going to deviate from the Amish. I really don't like Amish people for a good reason. So this is real, guys. This is real. <laughs> they make every pretty time, good bake goods, though. Every mm-hmm. time I've ever ran into an Amish person, because I'm mildly handicapped, I feel like they judge me. Like... <laughs> Because they do, like, farm work and stuff, like a lot of physical labor. And I feel like they look at me and they're like, that young man can't work on the farm. Well, you could have been good <laughs> inside of a house or something. You probably would have been a good, like, but that's made woman, kind that's, of person in a house. Exactly, sweeping. but that's woman's work. And I feel like in the Amish community, they probably in- embrace traditional gender roles. Well, maybe you maybe you get a just a real strong personality when you're working in the house and they all love you and they all want you to be around all the time. That. I don't think that that's what it is at all. Head but of the table. Here's I want to move on from Amish people because I <laughs> yeah, really don't you might like end them. Up at the I'm head very, of the table, yeah, you might be the leader. Do you do you guys remember the song Amish Paradise with uh, Weird Al? It's a classic. Yes, it's a classic. So good. Yeah, I feel like I could be head of the table. You're right. I should be more positive. You know. Well, there's a hierarchy. There's Mr. Milk. There's head of the table. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's Stargazer. So. Is, is Mr. Milk like the top one because he gets all the poon, you know? It's like, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. He visits all the houses and stuff. He takes care of all the dairy. And in the Amish, when you're in charge of the dairy, you're in charge of the life. Yeah. Pretty much. I mean, they could they could sabotage the entire operation. That yeah. one person could sabotage everything. And Grant knows a lot about sabotaging stuff. Is that what he's doing right now? Is this all sabotage, dude? Whoa, Close to whoa. it. Grant, we're kidding. Thanks so much for coming in on this emergency uh, emergency thing. What a – God, were you safe driving over here, Jack? I'm never safe driving. I'll, I'll tell you a fun story. Uh, I'll tell what, you a fun dangerous? story. Uh, yeah, I, uh, I probably shouldn't have gotten my license when I did. Like I was 17 and it was like my third time taking the test. And I, I was close to passing. I probably should have failed, but she what, felt bad for me. the written part or the driving part? I can't both? read, dude. I'll be honest. You know, like I'm, pa- I'm surprised I passed the written part. You know, I was just filling in random bubbles and shit. You when know? you have glasses on, that's sweet. Is that that's to trick all, people? Yeah, because- that's – that's just because I'm insecure about my literacy. Is that, there lenses in those? Uh, there's lenses, but they're fake. You know, it's like the no. model glasses that, you know, they just have. Michael B. Examples. Jordan wears them all yeah, the time. Yeah, he does. He yeah. does. He doesn't and, need those things. Do people which, who can't read wear glasses? Does well, it it's help? like a fashion yeah. thing. Yeah. It's, oh, the, it's not just for reading, right? Like, you need to see. So, I assume, right? Yeah. Yeah. Glasses aren't just for reading anymore. I know. Fair enough. I was thinking yeah. about it through a very narrow lens. Yeah. I shouldn't yeah. have done that. But no, I shouldn't. I pr- I'm, I'm not a good driver at all. Like, I'm horrible, you know? <laughs> like, I used to have jokes about other groups of people being bad drivers, but then I had, like, an internal moment with myself where it's like, those people are way better drivers than I will ever be. Like, yeah, look in the mirror. Do you guys have to parallel yeah. park ever? I can't fucking do that to save my life, well, You need man. to start practicing. I, I get- see a lot of opportunity in this situation. You need to start practicing jack you're gonna be able to do it think about all the other people there's a lot of people that drive out on this earth you got this man yeah i mean i mean i i drive to and from work you know and i'm good at that you know like like routine but like in the city you know where there's like lots of traffic and like people walking and stuff dude i get so much anxiety dude that's the biggest like (laughs) thing about moving to austin that like like oh my god like uh it scares me, man. Where did you it move from me. again? Uh, you know, I'm, I'm from, like, uh, the white trash part of the country. It's in Missouri. I don't like saying where I'm from. Springfield? Yeah, that's, yeah, that's it, yeah. Well, that was easy. 
Yeah. yeah, that was a good guess. Does, does it help because I'm wearing a Simpsons hat? Was that like a context clue? But, sure. Uh, Is that where Simpsons are from? So I've been the, reading you since you walked in, brother. Yeah, uh, it's it's a sad <laughs> story, isn't it? When you read re- read my no, body language. No, it's not. Mm-hmm. But uh, I, it's I, a story of triumph. Yeah. Exactly, We're just getting to the good part. Exactly, because you know what I had yeah. to do to get here? I had to drive. You know. And, and you that, made it yeah, okay, and it's exactly. cold and rainy. The car in front of me at one point in time was sliding around, and it scared me. I don't know what they yeah. did. <laughs> uh, I was going to bring up something interesting earlier, and this is one of the most interesting things I've ever heard, guys. Hmm. And people listening to the podcast, go like look this up because this is true. So basically, there's this thing called crimeurism or chimerism, right? Where like if there's two <laughs> supposed to be two twins, right, in the very beginning stages. Like one twin could die, but the DNA lives on in that person, Whoa. right? So basically, there's Ooh. people out there, there that are. have kids that have kids that aren't theirs, like that are technically their nieces and nephews, like of like because they're the kids of the twin that died. Like, wait, and, what? Say it, huh? What? So, so basically, <laughs> they, there's like a, the twin dies, like in the very early stages of de- development, yeah. but the DNA lives on. It's like a one person in the with tummy? two. tummy. Like not in the uh, no, the kid they die in the tummy, but it lives. But what on happens in, to the DNA? Like it just lives on in the person. It stays in the ribs. I don't. I don't know where in the person who is carrying the baby. In in well, it's not just women that have it, but is like, this what it looks like? Somewhat. Uh, I no, not I don't. <laughs> Are you I don't, sure? I mean, the first one does yeah. have the zero copy. Yeah, so the one is, a recipient. So you can like, donate a baby's blood. You could donate a baby's DNA to another person, and then the person has the baby's blood as a baby. That yeah, you're kind of confusing us I'm, right I'm now. I'm really, yeah. yeah, I'm really trying to understand what's going on with that graphic, but like, <laughs> no, no, it's just <laughs> kind of like, monitoring overview. Oh, so but it's uh, basically like the twin dies, but the DNA lives on in like the the per- the one that survives. Oh, so, so it's a twin situation, not yeah. just one single baby who dies yeah, in yeah. the tummy. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. So that's how the DNA can go to the next person. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, because there's so, two. So it's one yes. person with two strands of DNA, right? Whoa. Their DNA and the DNA of their twin living inside them simultaneously, and those person people have really compromised immune systems because. Like uh, the other twin would have been sickly or something well, or? because it's like Weaker two twin. different. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's like uh, two different strands of DNA. Is that what the people end up looking like? Yeah. So not that Sweet extreme. Little kitties. I know he's gorgeous. Yeah. Not, not hey, that do extreme. Do you like kitty cats, by the way? Cause last time you were on here, we were doing a little research mm-hmm. and you didn't like Santa Claus. So yeah. what's, do you like cats? I don't like animals. Does that make me weird? You're the grossest crud I've ever met. No, dude, they're <laughs> annoying, man. I'm a people person. You know, like you'd so, love maybe a little dog. Okay, no, like, I think they're what not worth the hell. I, I try to like love other people's animals and like try to, I, you know, like play with them and stuff. But in terms of like owning a pet, I just don't think it's worth all the stress and the money and everything that goes into it. I would like to own an animal like that on the right. That would be fucking dope. Brother, you know how much money that fucking thing would cost you? Yeah, and oh, how much day stress day that would bring your yeah, life. That would bring your life stress. Yeah. That thing would be breaking down the doors. I, fucking dragon on the I back of it. I feel like, I feel like it would be a good guard though. You know, like that would be, might be worth the investment. Like, yeah, it's a lawsuit rob, waiting to happen, dipshit. Yeah, yeah I mean, that well, thing's going to kill somebody. I could, if I had one of those things though, I could quit comedy and just show that thing like around town. You could start right. like a little circus. Like you, could, you'd pay yeah. a nickel to go see that animal, I'd pay a right? Nickel, but yeah. it would yeah. take. A profit. <laughs> <laughs> Think about the profit margin on a nickel a person. I mean, it's what theoretically a cent or two because so, I mean you got to feed good, it. Good, good, good uh, point. That's why Thank after you. I get a lot of nickels like saved up, I'm going to go to a country where our currency is worth like twenty times more, like Zimbabwe. And live mm. like a millionaire That's actually not with my idea. monster animal thing. How are you going to get that thing over to Africa? <laughs> Hopefully that thing will be able to swim, right? You're just going to set like, it yeah, free in the like, ocean. <laughs> like, well, I'm saying that like... Or have the, a little boat lion, like the old man in the sea. You're going to make it do a journey cute. from America. Oh, the, that could be a little yeah, story. You it's not, going across the ocean with your was, thing. What I was picturing is like the lion would swim with its paws, right? Mm-hmm. And I would grab onto the horns, you know? You're going to go with it. Okay. Yeah. Like, yeah, you could sit on the back, I guess, and that one thing could hold you if it got wavy ever. Yeah. yeah, he could have his claw on your chest, and then your back could be, I guess, on the dragon's head. So, oh yeah, I, you know, it's sad. I I just now noticed the dragon's tail, like our the dragon head tail, whatever that is. 
Interesting. That, that what were you cool. looking at mainly so, on that? Just the get, lion? Yeah, or? the lion. So, <laughs> <laughs> what were you focusing <laughs> in on? Yeah, I was focusing on the lion and the ram. The lion and the ram. I didn't even notice the dragon in the back. So maybe the dragon should swim. It's like an amphibious creature, you know, and like uh, mm, some dragons. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Some it dragons looks, are mountain dwelling. Yes, ha, yes. Have you guys ever found it odd that many cultures have depictions of dragons, even though they supposedly didn't know about each other? Like, why do you think that is, guys? Dinosaur bones. Yeah, dude. Without a doubt. I've already been down that rabbit hole. Dinosaur yeah. bones found in antiquity. They go, what is this? Could it possibly be, be some giant flying creature? Dragon bone. Yeah. Everywhere. I, I think, everywhere. Can you imagine They're how... They're everywhere, Jack. I mean, like, because they fly, like a, there's like they could hide in, like, a lot of, hide in a lot of high altitude places. Yeah. Last time we already talked about Bigfoot. That's where my mind was about to go is Bigfoot. Because, <laughs> you know, listen, guys, people need to understand it can camouflage itself. And that's why there's not as many photos of it as I you just, think there I are. I just watched a documentary two days ago. It's called Flash of Beauty, Paranormal Bigfoot. And it's, <laughs> and it's on Amazon Prime. And the, the prevailing theory is that, yes, Bigfoot can camouflage itself like the predator. And there's footage of this. And you can oh, see really? it. it looked like, yeah. oh, is that a tree falling? No. You zoom in, do the pixelate, enhance, please. <laughs> Fucking leg. <laughs> it's camouflaging itself like a squid does. Yeah. What? Because if, if, yeah. if squids can do it, why can't another animal do it, right? Yeah. yeah. 100%. Makes a total sense, dude. Most of the universe is made up of dark matter. For every particle of real matter you see, like we're seeing, there's 10 particles of dark matter. Uh, Who knows what it could so be? So that's always bothered me. Do the math okay. on that one, Jack. Uh, not much. Not much of a mathematician. I can't even read, dude. Uh, I, <laughs> I wish I could do the math or, or read the words. But You're kidding. You can read. You can read. No, I, I do listen to lots of books on Audible and Libby, though. So I am <laughs> I am fairly well educated because I can listen, but I can't read. Okay. Yeah. Well. Uh, so <laughs> my, my theory, like what I've heard about Bigfoot being camouflaged, just to go back for a second, it's not that he has the ability to camouflage himself like a squid necessarily. It's just like an example of like evolution, you know, where the ones that could blend into their environment the best, right, yeah. were the ones that survived because they made the best predators. For yeah. sure. Speaking so that's of, what Bigfoot is now, just the apex, ultimate yeah. predator yeah, kind yeah. of. Well, people are saying that they can also, like, uh, shape shift. <laughs> so this yeah. is the basis of the documentary. Like, if you see <laughs> a really weird deer and you go, that deer doesn't look quite right, keep watching it because it just might turn into a Bigfoot. Yeah, that's well, those are skinwalkers, <sighs> new right? New fear unlocked. Yeah, a new fear unlocked. Uh, yeah. That wasn't that, on my that, bingo card this that's, year. That's, <laughs> that's scary. That's skinwalkers, right? right like, uh... That's what what it is like. Uh, yeah, it could that, be the yeah. same sort of energy. Yeah, yeah. like I Harry and the Hendersons. I mean, I guess mm -hmm. we yeah. have had actually real life Bigfoot. We've seen this happen. On, yeah, I yeah. mean, it was on a sitcom. Uh, did that documentary talk about the Arctotus Sinus theory of Bigfoot? Yeah, it didn't. Uh, it didn't touch on that. So, did, what's that one? Arctotus Simus was a bear back in like the prehistoric era. Like I think back in, and it was in North America, and it was like huge, like like on its hind legs, it would be like 10, 12 to fifteen feet tall, and like on all of its fours, you know, it's about six feet tall, and it was just like such a massive predator, right? And and it went extinct, and like uh, it's just kind of curious that it did because it was like so powerful and strong. Had no natural. It, predators. It had a flat face, though. So the theory is, mm -hmm. is that people think they're seeing an ape when they see Bigfoot, but what they're actually seeing is a flat-faced bear. Yeah, but the thing is with that, people would find bones if there was a population, and and also uh, Bigfoot's been seen in areas that aren't exactly hospitable to bears, such as Texas. People see it all the time in the Texas desert and the foothills. Big bear ain't gonna live up there. Yeah, well, how do you respond it, to that, Jack? That I, makes sense, what Casey just said. How I, do you respond to that? They're I everywhere. think that there's more than one thing out there. That's how I respond to that bro because bears could be in caves one so that's where all the bones are right because like <laughs> bears lot, don't like caves mm -hmm. they dig little holes in the ground that's where they sleep is in that the winter really that's where they hibernate with is their head a, just above it like an alligator yeah no dude bears no bears live in is that is that really not true is that true they like bears holes. don't live in caves mm -hmm. they don't live in caves or something no are they hibernating you ever heard of a dirt blanket they make dirt blankets I feel is that I yeah. If you put enough dirt on you when you're already in the ground, you're gonna stay warm. This is blowing my mind right now. Like I, I, I legit thought that bears <laughs> like to hang out in caves. Like 
No, That's, there aren't caves everywhere. So if this is an undiscovered bear, though, then it could like to hide in caves. <laughs> it could. So, yeah. I mean, it so, could. I wouldn't put it uh, past it. So I think it's three. It's it's the flat-faced bear. It's Sasquatch. And it's the Dogman, which is a government experiment. Yeah, I heard about yeah, the Dogman. The, dog man, the yeah. Michigan Dogman. Yeah. The Michigan uh, Dogman. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. He's mostly seen in Michigan, but he's seen in other yeah. places, too. Oh, Iowa. Really? That one lives down in the sewers. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, okay, so maybe what they is, live down there. What is a sewer similar to, though? A cave, bro. A cave? Yeah. Interesting. Huh. Yeah. I stand corrected on that, then. Fair <laughs> yeah. enough. Yeah. I stand corrected. You're actually pretty yeah. smart. Yeah, yeah, maybe they're just William's down in the smart. sewers. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm not. He's saying you, Jack. Oh, th- oh see, I didn't Your even know you were taking... Yeah, I, I really am, you know? That's what they say. Yeah, you got a lot to offer, man, so it, it hurts both... I can't speak for Casey, but it totally hurts me. It might hurt Casey. When you yeah. just come in here yeah. and you talking down on yourself about being handicapped and learning to drive when you're 25 or whatever yeah. i mean come on I, I was 17 like it wasn't quite but here's the thing i know uh and I, I think about this a lot like i feel like people who have a kind of a low opinion of themselves are more successful right because steve they, jobs they, mm-hmm. they keep marilyn like, monroe yeah. Marilyn Manson. Marilyn Manson. Exactly, yeah. Charles Manson. No, they're motivated to work Charlton harder and like, better themselves. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They, they, Charlton Heston had a low opinion of himself. And Errol he, Flynn. And he, Charlton yeah. Heston, didn't he play almost an ape? He played an ape. He was in Planet of the Apes. He was. So he was the one guy that huh. wasn't an ape, right? Interesting. What was yeah. that, a flat-faced Michigan thing or... Uh, what were the Planet of the Apes? I, I so no, it was in New York the whole time because he sees the Statue of Liberty and he's like, "You bastards! It was you! It was Earth all the time!" Or I don't know what the Why fuck. Why'd you do that? Yeah. You fuck you! Ooh, he's yeah. kissing one. Oh, yeah. that's hot. Yeah, Ooh. Um, they kiss. Can you guys leave the room that. for a second? <laughs> well, you know. You said you've yeah. never done that. Well, I'm gonna start now after seeing that you hot can't piece start of ass. Now it's too late in the game. You wouldn't know what to do. Yeah. I I, I think I've got a rough idea. I think it involves <laughs> the mouth, right? And just flexibility. Sure. What, kissing? Yeah. Oh, no. Have you ever I, I kissed saying, someone? I was saying the other thing. I have. Have you ever kissed someone? I have. With your yeah. tongue? It's all about uh, the yeah, mouth. Yeah. Is it cool? Yeah, it, it was. Uh, well, it was. it's always kind of like anxiety-inducing for me because it's like- <laughs> Even when you know, you're actively kissing? Yeah, of course. you got to like, relax, am man. I, Throw am those I doing shoulders a good back. job, you know? I'm not. You yeah, know? you can't think about it so mm-hmm. much, dude. You're getting in your head too much. Just <laughs> let your tongue do the talking, baby. Well, that, Grant taught us. No, Grant. Wow, he taught you guys how to kiss. <laughs> yeah. That's that's yeah. A, a solid producer. Seven right or there. eight months ago. Yo, <laughs> you remember Grant? Yeah, yeah, it's part of the package. Is that like <laughs> it's part of the it's package, part of the package. Deal. Oh it, my god! Is that like a warm up thing you guys do? Just like a quick group kiss before the podcast? You know, podcast starts to just like know that you're. I mean, in you together. guys can show him what we taught you. Yeah. We t- well, he he taught us the McAllister method, which is something they use at like some of the biggest universities in New York City. Juilliard, Juilliard, mm-hmm. um, NYC, method. yeah, New York, yeah, New York. Films. I'm I'm gonna Google Academy. that. I'm not gonna lie. After after I get home, I'm like, what's the McAllister method? The McAllister method is a unique style of kissing that involves more chest than lips. But, <laughs> but, but, uh, Fascinating. Is that like a? It's gotta be like an evolutionary thing because it's like you know primate like big chest like who. Like, yeah, and then, like it's like, wow, it's I'm sure. chest Bam. first, fall into the lips. Okay, chest, mm. yeah. Some so, people, a lot of people want to go in with the head mm-hmm. first, but you cannot. That's how you scared. That's anxiety, right? Yeah. That's anxiety that's, inducing. Can I practice with my Kevin hand McAllister right method. now? Well, you know, just to see if I got it down a little bit, like McAllister method. Yeah, we'll show you if you're right. So, yeah. Okay, all right. This is the chick right here, guys. Is that the what? That's the mouth. Yeah, this is the right. The this boobs. looks like this okay. like no. This is lips, right? Where are the boobs at? The boobs, I guess, are going to be like down here, right? <laughs> That's so, sweet. You were so immediately what? able to make the hand of yeah. a girl with <laughs> the mouth of a girl with your hand. Yeah, I, I know it's it's good really impressive. So, all right, hey, hey, Debbie McAllister, what's up? Are you ready to get hot and heavy? You can't be making that noise though. Everything's <laughs> looking good other than Gotta the noise. Be silent. Oh, yeah. why are her so titties up there? The titty, is she laying on her side? Uh, yeah, she has a deformity where her neck is like down here and her body is like up here. <laughs> you don't want to be kissing a girl like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, stop kissing her. Well, I feel like someone like that stop needs to be kissed. Hey, Debbie, I love you no matter what your deformities are, baby. 
Well, what if you catch feelings, man? Are you going to be cool with showing <laughs> that, her to your friends and stuff? That's, uh, that, that's a lot better than other things you could catch, right? Am I right? You're going to get <laughs> cuffed up kissing like that. Yeah, yeah, dude. Be careful. You can't just be giving out kisses to everybody. You're going to end up catching feelings. I swear to God. And you have to think. I mean, are you going to be proud to show her fucking ass off to your friends? It, that's, or are you not going to show her to anybody? I mean, believe, then that's not you, a good start of a relationship, Jack. That's well. That's been a problem of mine just in the dating world. Is like I'm embarrassed to be with this girl <laughs> right now. <laughs> you know, like, this is, and I feel like they can sense it. You know, I pay for everything, so I feel what like, makes you embarrassed. <laughs> what are you feeling embarrassed about with the person? Uh, I, I, I don't want to be like superficial, but it's, it's a looks thing, you know, cause they're, <laughs> that's, uh, what know. kind of chicks are you bagging? What do they look <laughs> like? <laughs> I mean, like, so one thing I feel bad about the last time I was on here, I've like, I've bashed like overweight women and I don't, I don't want to like m- be an asshole. And okay. Make all just about in that. case anybody yeah. will backtrack. But, God. A, a lot of times. <laughs> so a lot of the dates I've been on were really, really large, like not, not just like, but How really are you meeting these chicks. people? I mean, it's 2024, baby. Online? Oh, yeah. Largebabes.com? Yeah, like, uh, OkCupid.com. Oh, is that what you use? Uh, yeah, that's what I've... Uh, the most, yeah. That's sweet. That's what I moved. Yeah, uh, and then... Um, uh, nice. What's the other thing? Oh, work, work. I've met some uh, uh, at some never jobs. Heard of work? work. But, yeah. <laughs> it's uh, just yeah, spelled W O R K. I don't know how it's spelled. I can't read. Oh, <laughs> yeah. that's right. Um, w E R K. Yeah. Work. Um, uh, and the work ones are weird because, like, you know, you don't want to obviously date them or anything like that, but you work together, so you got to avoid them, you know? Oh, so it's people you're meeting at work. So, so yeah, that's been the case a Damn. few times. Love them and leave them. That's your style. Yeah, that's right, baby. I'm I'm hardcore. But that's no, but like, really. <laughs> well, I thought work was a dating app. It's yeah. just you literally were referring to your place of work. Yeah, yeah, that could be a place where you can meet somebody. It, it, yeah, it's well, it hasn't worked out well for me in the past, but uh, hopefully it will someday. Mm. You know, uh, I guess I'm a door to door salesman. So now, uh, for love, for love, yeah, damn wiener salesman, nasty, yeah, yeah, yeah. dick salesman, I, nasty. I, I sell yeah. high speed internet and love. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, work. Yeah. If you use the Excuse work me. app, that's a good excuse to like cheat on your fiance and say, "Oh, sorry, I got to take this. It's work." Yeah, and then it's like some bigger girl who's calling you, like, yeah. "Hey, sex time, please." Woo! Yeah. And yes. then you got to get That's... in your car and try not to crash. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do well, these girls know you're scared to drive? Are you ever driving them around, or do you play it cool? That's well. That's one of the main things that's held me back. I think since I moved to Austin, because fun fact, I was hoping after I was on this show, I was going to get laid. But I have not gotten laid once. <laughs> it doesn't since work. I'm not saying it's for sure going to happen, but like I thought, my chances would be greater after being on the William Montgomery show. <laughs> and that's not a reflection of the show. That's totally a reflection of me. Uh, like, and I'm just saying, big disappointment. I was hoping like, like the what next do you time think? I was on you were going to walk into a Taco Bell or something, and some bitch was going to come up to you and say, "Oh, are you Jack from <laughs> Yeah? Like, that uh, podcast? I, okay, I go to first of all, I go to Taco Bell a lot, and I go to multiple Taco. Taco Bells, so that would increase my chances. And you of eat someone... inside, right? So you can get recognized. Yeah, exactly, nice. exactly. Uh, and they're that... all probably thinking, "Oh, there's that sweet little handicap guy's coming to yeah. eat his lunch again." <laughs> I'm well, kidding. That's I'm actually... kidding. No, see, here's the thing. I'm sitting down for this. So they don't know I'm handicapped, right? And you're not and handicapped. Then, Why do you say that? You what just do you said mean? I was handicapped. You just you said, said you were handicapped no, at the beginning. You're putting well, words in his mouth. Okay, Jack. I'm saying that. Yeah, I don't call anybody handicapped, dude. Uh, you were okay. Speaking as the prospective chicks, right? You said there's that handicapped guy, and that's the thing. They know I'm handy when I walk. It's like, oh fuck, I didn't know that, you know. But can, can I tell you a People real story? People can probably look past that. Can I? Can I tell you a real story? This is a real story. You're gonna meet somebody who's gonna be able to look past it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I. I. Uh, to be honest, like. I, I don't know if I actually want to be around somebody all the time, you know, like I, I, cause I, I, I like my, I like my alone time. I like to be able to go home but and if watch what her, I want. It's different. Yeah. And you're but, really good at the McAllister method. We were kind of holding yeah. back. You're really, yes. really good yeah. at that for real. Yeah. Seriously. Like, I feel like I timed the chip, the booby grab at like the right place. You know, Perfect. you got to kiss for yeah. a few seconds. You, you want to do it within five so seconds. Go ahead and grab the It's just the, the noise yes. is the problem, right? The you're gonna uh, yeah. you're gonna yeah. meet somebody who you love being around, Jack, and she's gonna <laughs> yeah. change your life. I 
I like every time, every time I've had a friend that's in like a serious relationship, the one thing I always notice is that their taste in movies and TV shows starts to fucking suck, man. <laughs> like it, it's like, well, it's because yeah. they're not alphas. So well, yeah. I'm kidding. Isn't that, what's yeah. an, is that an alpha? I, that's a I, beta move. I, I think. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like the guys that are alphas in most areas of life are probably betas in their relationship. Like that's the compromise, you know, that's where they get kind of grounded. Yeah. And cucked. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a beta in the bedroom and an alpha on the baseball field. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Damn. Yeah, I'm a team leader, team captain. C for K. Has it always um, been that case? The probably. alpha in the field and <laughs> um, beta I'm in the bedroom? De- I'm, yeah, definitely, in the bedroom. <laughs> I'm definitely an alpha in the bedroom myself, but I'm by myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're taking charge, but you said you don't touch that thing. Yeah, okay, dude. guys, maybe I wasn't being changing. 100% truthful. Maybe I touched that thing pretty like soon before I got here. Like, you know, I don't know. So not know. before Come, a stand-up show, but before a podcast. The William Montgomery show, of course, man. You got to crank one out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you got to pop one, tunes, man. man. Yeah. You got to be all calm and relaxed, what were dude. You, were you watching something or just going from memory or what was going on? Yeah, I was uh, I was uh, doing it to my memories from high school, which is just memories of me jerking <laughs> off. <laughs> That's one of my jokes in stand-up, guys. I'm really funny. What Don't do you do spits on us, you <laughs> bastard? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> For real though, um, uh, uh, yeah, I was just thinking. I actually like being alone and by myself, and uh, you know, it's like uh, it's probably more my fault that I haven't done that than women's fault. And I don't hate women. I yeah, hate. Yeah, it's totally fine. And yeah. how old are you? I was, so I'm 32. Oof. Oh well, yeah, that's, that's a lot old. older than I was thinking. Yeah, I, th- I thought uh, you were like 22. Yeah, I thought yeah. you were about 10 it, years younger. It's the hat. Wait, so oh, I'm wearing headphones. Pop I can't it. take it off. Oh, no, right? you yeah. can. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you can. The top. Let's Pop see the... what you're. Yeah. Yeah, he's 32. Yeah, I'm definitely 32. Yeah, that's a 32. You shouldn't be line. wearing a cap. I think that's a better look. You look good. Uh, and I'm biased because I'm also going bald. But yeah, I think that's a good. Look. I'm going bald so, too. We're all bald. We're all real, going yeah. bald. Grant looks Ca- like a fucking Casey's crazy fuck. person yeah. with his baldness. I, I assumed it was with <laughs> Grant. Just that he's like, <laughs> yeah, like right, Grant. A part of a. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, uh, right well, that's not what I saw. Factor meals. Factor, factor, factor meals. <laughs> farm fresh, factory made meals, fresh from farm to table. Factor, factory. Equals factor. Factor ye. Factor yay. Yum. Go in my stomach, please. Goes in my tummy, especially Casey around uh, this time of year. We're kind of in a weird time of year. We're in January. We're middle of January. Yeah. Highs worn off from Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's. All we have is Valentine's Day coming up. Um, it's a bummer. It's like, what do you eat if you're thinking about a special someone in your life on Valentine's Day. And you want to impress them, but you don't want to be eating any junk that makes your pores smell. You want factor, and you're going to be able to cook that special someone for Valentine's Day or just any date night a factor meal. Factor meal says, I love you in a 21st century way. Because when you get the food out after you've been heating it up and stuff and you give it to the special someone, they're going to think, hold on, what is what is this? Yeah, is this some sort of like 35 meal options? Which one is this? Yeah, which because I love how it smells. So thanks so much for choosing this one for me tonight. <laughs> I appreciate that. You know me so well. I can't believe you got me a vegan calorie smart option. And if not, there's a keto one in the fridge. Oh my gosh, and vegetarian and more? Yeah. Sometimes I just even wonder what the more even means. I know. It makes me question not only what meal it is, but where I stand in this crazy universe and this rock hurling through space. But yeah, I mean, you never need to choose between delicious food and meeting your health goals ever again because you're going to be killing it out yeah. there. You're going to be killing it out there with the one you love. And nothing says love like code WMS50 to get 50% off factormeals.com. Yeah, I mean, that's code WMS50 at factormeals.com slash WMS50 to get 50% off. Yes, please. Thank you. Love you, Factor. Mm, mm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Hey, Grant, what's your opinion on the McAllister method? Did you teach that to them, and did I do a good job? I did, and you – I mean, for a first try, that was pretty good. They're, like like Casey yeah. said, there's more chest involved. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's just subtleties Ooh. that make it a little different. Yeah. yeah, a little bit more like that. Yeah. Like, hey, baby. But the noises – like ASMR wise, that was you were nailing it. <laughs> Thank you. See, yeah, Grant I, likes the noises. I don't yeah. necessarily, so it's kind of that, a it's two different school choice. Yeah, because yeah. he's just listening to this right now, right? So just pure based on the noise by itself, it's probably pretty hot. Oh, he yeah. can see it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay so <laughs> that's not it. it. Don't yeah. get it twisted. He can yeah. see what he can see your ass right now. Yeah, I can see that's, you guys. That's kind of reaffirming to me then that I do know how to please a woman. These are the eyeballs. Oh, wow. Yes. That makes sense. <laughs> they literally do goggles. look a lot like eyeballs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so like, uh, maybe like, the headset on. Maybe like a better way to have done the McAllister method is to have that be the chick, you know? Because oh, those are also boobs. Yeah, yeah. This would be oh. some big knockers, dude. Yeah, yeah. Damn. What would you even honk, do with honk. those things? Yeah. You couldn't handle a girl like that. Yeah, could be I, so too big. I, I would be afraid to like you know not d- d- like comply because that's like a giant right, like a giant lady yeah. with giant boobies, and she could probably like throw me like Jack and the Beanstalk, you know. <laughs> like fee fi fo fum, you better make me come. <laughs> Jack flicking the Beanstalk. Go yeah. on, so sexy to yeah. think about. <laughs> oh, <laughs> is, is the bean? Is that is that the clitoris or the vag? Hard hmm. to tell. Okay. Yeah, I don't okay. know exactly. You won't know until you really get down there. Yeah, have you ever gotten down there before? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> like, I, I, uh, I, I don't know how much I should go into this, but that's sort of what it is. Like, I'm sort of like a, a I, okay, I'm not going to talk down on myself. This is just a fact. I feel like, like, I, no, actually, I don't know if I want to talk I thought you were about, about to say a Willy Wonka. No, of- it's. <laughs> It, it's kind of like Blissey a double. or something. I didn't. That's what I was yeah. picturing you were about to yeah, say because you were starting something I, with a W. I uh, but. yeah. I don't. I don't know if I should talk about this specifically. Like I feel like I embarrassed my family last time, and I exaggerated. <laughs> but but yeah. I mean yeah. Like yeah yeah. You told it to your question. Yeah. Um, yeah. What was like, the question like, again? Well, Hold on. What is it you saying? It yeah to. <laughs> uh, the, yeah to the bean baby. Oof. Yeah. So yeah to the bean. Yeah, yeah, so you do know dude. what's going on down yeah. there. Yes, he yeah. does. Can Can I share the poems that I write with you guys? That, that's what I, what I wanted <laughs> oh to my do. Gosh. Sure. So, yeah. Yeah. What I'm going for. Do you guys know who Charles Bukowski is? Uh-huh. Yes, uh-huh. Yeah. for sure. So, real facts. This is not a joke. Uh, I, I did stop touching myself for a long time, and I was like, like filled with creative energy, right? And like testosterone. Interesting. And I started nice. writing a bunch of poems. Okay, it didn't load a second ago. But How many did called, you write? Just uh, a, a I whole think bunch? like like about eight or nine total. Maybe just read one or two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll read. I'll read like. <laughs> I'll read one or two, and then if you guys like it, we can keep reading. Cool, them. sounds good. What's the name of the what? What's the name of this one that it's we're about Jack to hear? It's Jack in Post Lambs. So hold on, it's loaded. What's it called? Jack, it's Post Jack, Jack Van Post Lambs. Jack Van Post Lambs. No, Post Lambs. Like Poe as in Post poem. Lambs. Post Lambs. Like, oh. and then okay. What? So what is it again? Off to a rough start. So it's a uh, <laughs> Jack. It's, what the. F- so it's making me do like a setup thing on Instagram, and it's not like loading the poems. It's really annoying to do it at this exact moment. And I've written you have ten on your Instagram. Yeah, I have, a, I have an Instagram. Yeah, <laughs> I'll see if I can find some of the notes. Maybe. What but, is happening with your Instagram? You're logged out. So I, I have like multiple profiles, right? What do you have? Like, so what do you my do? My personal on it? one. I, know. I, know. I, I, I have my personal one. I have my comedy one, Jack Horner Comedy, uh, and then I have Jack Van Post Lambs. So but that's now, where you release your poetry is yeah, on this last yeah, one. You yeah. can just, from your main account, look up your poetry account. You don't yeah, have to log that's, in. Yeah, that's what I'm doing, and it usually works just fine. I, I looked it up. Yeah. Um, I came up with this for Post Lambs. This is you? Jack. Oh, Did no, that's that? not me. Yeah. That's not cool, man. That's not Jack Van Post Lambs. I only have one follower. Jack so you're probably Van not. Post Lambs. Is that a sex thing? What are we looking at? <laughs> what is it, yeah. Grant? I think it's Poe from Kung Fu Panda. Fighting yeah. Spider-Man. Fighting Spider-Man. Okay. It's giving him a post slam. A post slam. Nice. Do you guys have Wi-Fi here? It's working super <laughs> slow. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a memorized or... I, I'll find my... I'll see if I can find my notes. <laughs> so you're basically, though, for anybody watching, you're basically saying... I'm, I'm a poet. 
But a good way for <laughs> to get the creative energy is not to masturbate. Yeah, that's what yeah, you're I'm, saying. Yeah, for real. Got to keep it in you. For real, though. Okay. Yeah. Have you guys never done that before and found out like how it works really well? Mm. <laughs> I don't know. What What do you think, Casey? Oh. <laughs> I don't know if I even want to talk about it, really. But <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Sometimes you know, I'll go. Yeah. I'll I'll do celibacy for several months and yeah i'll write some of my best books well, wow you write books that's crazy about one i did not know that that's pretty good actually i did a couple years ago and i did a where's waldo thing yeah but it wasn't waldo it was somebody else uh but you had to find them in where's the jonathan? pages yes <laughs> where's jonathan Lipnicki? <laughs> Who is seen, that again? He's the guy from oh. Little Vampire. Oh, yes. And, uh, yes. Tool ti- oh, wait. The, no, <laughs> that's, that's Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Yeah, that's Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Jonathan uh, Lipnicki. Will you pull up? Uh, oh, Grant, I think we've talked Jerry about Maguire, this. Right? He's really strong now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think oh, we've talked there. about it. He's totally ripped. Yeah, he's in Jerry Maguire. He says a human head weighs like 10 pounds or something, and Jerry's like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, Jerry's like, shut up with that bullshit. <laughs> that's funny. I'm sorry, yeah. guys. I it's fine. I, I mean, it's go, been going pretty good. You've been able to lead the whole conversation. Ooh, look at him. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. totally young. Is that a star of David on his left side? I think so. Yeah, I think yeah. he's Hebrew. Oh, he's from the Big Island. You can tell yeah, on. by someone's <laughs> demeanor if they're from the Big Island, and I think he definitely is. Yeah, look at that, dude. So I, I That's think- a glow up. <laughs> I mean, he yeah. looks like such a nerd and looks like, he- I don't know, just a little... Uh, dwarf or something in the left hand picture but yeah that's a he maybe got that surgery that makes you taller or something yeah. i wonder how he even got to look like that that's uh, what vern Troyer did uh, rest in peace really? but to yeah. make him smaller he was six four Is, and then uh yeah he got a bone shortening oh i was thinking like uh it was the other way around he was short and he got taller and that's when he became mike myers <laughs> the scary guy in the movies? No, the the guy that played Austin Powers and Mr. Oh, Evil. Oh, yes, okay. yes, so, yes. Yeah. Mr. Deeds. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, he was 6'4". He was a linebacker for Notre Dame. And he took a... It's in his book. It's called Little Guy Big Dreams. And it's... Um, he took a big look in the mirror one day after football practice. And he said, like, this isn't what I'm all about. Yeah, he was on the same team as Rudy, I think. Yeah. And then Rudy was just killing it, you know, and he's like, I'm not going to ever be as good as (laughs) Rudy, dude. I'll never be as good as Rudy is. Why am I even trying? Yeah. Everyone loves this guy. They're making a movie about him. I might as well be as small as I feel. Yeah, and people think he was just like a midget or whatever, or a little person, but he really had body dysmorphia. Yeah, and he got the surgery to be that small. Yeah. That's me when I was jacked in high school. (laughs) Oh, that's crazy. Scared, (laughs) yes. I'm stronger than Jonathan Lipnicki ever was. Scared Yeah, I mean, much. look at that. Hold you, on. Okay, <laughs> you look like, uh, is that really you? Yes, it's okay, me, you fool. You look a lot like Jonathan Lipnicki. <laughs> Has anybody, like, at least in that photo, I like, got... Sure, I've gotten like, that a couple times. <laughs> like, I won't lie to you. Like, I, I don't know. I feel like that could have been the same person right there. Uh, or I might have, like, face blindness. Yeah, have you ever said that you're the face kid from- blindness? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> is that different from? So it's your whole face. It's all your so, senses. So face blindness is when you don't recognize people. Brad Pitt it, has it. Yep. You can Google it. Yeah, and he's also from. Uh, he's also from Springfield, my hometown. Fun fact. And we both have face blindness. Something's in the water. Weird. And, 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 yeah, what's in the uh, water? I would get Aaron Brockovich in town. <laughs> if you've ever wondered why I'm so handsome, guys, it's because I drink Springfield water. Yeah, and that's what. That's what, what I did. That's what. Yeah. In case you used to drink it in the bathroom. <laughs> I'd so, bring my jug in there and, hey, you almost done in there? I just, I'd pull my feet up on the toilet seat so they couldn't see I'm still in there. Yeah, people say that you should pull your feet up while you're on the toilet. And people I, do say that. Yeah, yeah, and I've seen that, is that how you got the abs? Is that just <laughs> like the bile flows yeah, through? Yeah, every you? time I would poop, I would, uh, pl- I would plank over, over the <laughs> toilet so it, it gets your core. <laughs> nice and nice and shredded, and then it pulls uh, all the testosterone out of your butt. That's a life well, hack. Every yeah. time you go to the bathroom, and then if you want to get your arms too, you got two shake weights going on. You know, like <laughs> that's like, yeah, yeah. yeah. I and mean, then the duties that- just coming out. <laughs> 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 Oh, hey, it loaded, just guys. A found, just a it minute. loaded. My, my, my poetry page loaded, guys. This hey, is. I'm me. really excited to share this with the world. So when did you write the first, what's the actual first poem called? Okay. um, So the very first one 
is I think it's like um so four hour erection is what it's called. <laughs> okay guys. Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, Here goes nothing. The little blue pill, pill revealed the presence of God in my own center being. I see myself for who I am. I am an alpha. I have no fear of those who judge me in the self checkout line. Damn. It's like a haiku. Yeah. Yeah. How'd you write that? Can I see what it? Do you have different words going down? So yeah, like it's not really oh, written like yes. a haiku. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Did you take a blue pill one time? A penis pill? Uh, no, I'm I'm faking that. You know, I'm a fraud on that department. But you know, I, when I wasn't you know pleasuring myself, I was like, this must be what it feels like to take a Cialis or a Viagra. And you you put yourself in that head. Exactly, dude. <laughs> exactly, dude. <That's> cool. <laughs> This is what it must be like to be hard. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> Can I do another one, guys? Can I do another one? Yeah, okay. oh my gosh. Please this do. one's called White Trash Redneck Love. As we undress, the stars are our blanket. The ground beneath <laughs> is Mother Nature's open palm, embracing us, not judging us for being first cousins. It's powerful stuff, right, That's guys? Heavy. That is heavy. Yeah. Okay. And does uh, that come from someplace, or you're just kind of goofing around again on that one? I, I am from Missouri, you know. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, so. we're, we're all we're all cousins down there, you know. Just that's the whole mentality, you know. Yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. That's where it came from. We're all children of God. So I I, I don't want to do the whole. Like I I could do my whole collection on there. There's not very many. Why don't you do a couple more? But okay, <laughs> yeah, two more. Okay, <laughs> so two more. That's good. Okay, so this one is called um, "Fat Ugly Stripper." A cobra tattoo covers your C-section. Titty tassels give personality to your shapeless chest. Your high heels almost break under the weight of your womanhood. As you take stage, I see you. You're not like the other girls. You you love yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good one yeah, yeah that's good yeah what was the ending you love yourself <laughs> yeah you love yourself yeah because it's like she's that. willing to eat whatever she wants and that'll make her happy yeah she's happy yes. to be in that's her own cool. skin like you know like <laughs> and you're she's the most confident because she doesn't feel the need to like lose weight or look pretty you know it's like <laughs> that and, and you can sense that energy you, you've been there before william right you've been have you ever been oh, to a strip yes. club yeah yeah. Oh, a couple times. Yeah, a couple yeah. times. Yeah, and, and I it's feel, okay. I don't know. I'd never yeah. be fair. Kind of awkward. Yeah. yeah, it's awkward. I, I feel that. Honestly, I feel that. Like, I, I blew a bunch of money. Like, I used to go to a, one strip club a bunch, you know, and then... In Springfield? <laughs> yeah, in Springfield. And I then, bet. And then I was like, this girl <laughs> doesn't really like me, you know? It, it took How a, much it took money a would you give her at a time? So, I mean, look, the average lap dance is like 25 bucks, you know? That's pretty cheap. So, <laughs> That's how many did you get <laughs> in a night? There's, But then you got to buy drinks. Well, I've never actually gotten more than one lap dance. Well, actually, no, no. that's not true. I, I guess a few times. Because <laughs> there was the $25 lap dance, like, that's regular, and then the $40 lap dance where it's like a bed, you know? Uh, so what do you do? Bed just bed lay dance? down on yeah. a bed and, yeah, and then she climbs on you? Yeah, and then does the whole stripper thing. I find it awkward. Um, I've been to strip clubs maybe five times, and I find it awkward – um, when they're giving you lap dance and there's a big emphasis on no hands, right? So you have to kind of put your hands like behind your back and it's kind of like a weird feeling like you feel like you, you're you almost being like victimized or something. Like it's a weird, it's just weird and awkward that uh, they're dancing on you. Yeah, yeah it seems like it's a weird tease. Yeah. I don't understand why people pay money and people obviously do and I don't give a people shit. People are so horny. People yeah, are so horny. You're just getting teased and yeah. it's costing you money yeah. to get teased. It's Not, crazy. I don't want to get teased. Yeah. I, I don't like being teased. I get that, but interesting you say that, Casey, because Missouri's not a no hand state. Like, we're allowed to, like, woo, woo, grab woo. a woo. I didn't realize that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You get to motorboat, you know? It's pretty cool. Uh, but that's Wait, it. wouldn't motorboating <laughs> still be able to work even if you couldn't use hands? Oh, can you motorboat? It's a loophole. Oh, yeah, okay. I think that's okay. a loophole, yeah. motorboating. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. baby, read the fine print. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Especially if there was like those big knockers right there, dude. Oh, I bet yeah. you'd suffocate if you tried to <laughs> motorboat those, dude. Get Aaron yeah. Hernandez disease. Fucking Woo. CTE. <laughs> Just oh, start killing that, people. <laughs> so is I that named go. after him now? Like, yeah, Aaron like, Hernandez. Yeah, memorial if, disease. Yeah, if there's like Lou Gehrig's disease for MS or whatever, I feel like that should be Aaron Hernandez disease. <laughs> Chris yeah. Benoit's disease, yeah. Yeah. What? Just doing drive bys on people? Or <laughs> Is that all he did? 
Um, I what? I, I don't know. Yeah. I think he assassinated one or two yeah, people. Yeah, he he a drive-by or two. <laughs> yeah, I think he killed two people in a drive-by, and then he assassinated one guy. And then he was also, he was he was gay with his friends. He was gay. Yeah. Yes. When I think of CTE, though, I think of, like, Rocky, you know? Because it's like, that would be the most compelling Rocky movie ever. It's just like, him struggling to walk CTE and, and feed yeah. himself. Just him shaking in the bathroom mirror. It's kind yeah. of sad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's awful. I, I would watch it. Man. That would be a fun. That would be Oscar Rocky movie. remake. Yeah. <laughs> They're remastering then, everything. That could be a good remaster. <laughs> and then people think he's feeble, so they try to mug him, and then he just kicks their ass, and that's like <laughs> the end of the movie, dude. Who was that guy? I eat that in my and I try it again. Yeah. And, and, like the bad guy could be Vladimir Putin. I don't know if that's too similar to Rocky Three. Cool. You know what I'm saying? He like, just kicks Vladimir Putin's ass. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. Well, we gotta find him first. I think he's hard to find. I don't know if he's still acting. I mean, I know he used to. He was in Beetlejuice, wasn't he? Wasn't that his mm-hmm. first? Are you thing? talking about Sylvester Stallone or Vladimir Putin? Vladimir. Vladimir. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he was over in America before he got into politics he and doing the, acting. Uh, shrunken head guy was Vladimir. Yes. Uh. I know. Not a lot of people. Hey. Did you know that, Grant? Yeah. Vladimir, he was a little head in, like, was that, like, Purgatory or whatever? Oh. oh. He knew it. So he actually had a shrunken head, or did he just voice the shrunken head? Prosthetics. Yes. Ah, I see, I see. It was kind of one of those uh, Lord of the Rings perspective things right yeah they made his body a lot bigger (laughs) so it's actually his real head but his body was just so big it looked like a small head you know i've never actually seen beetlejuice guys i'm a movie fan never seen beetlejuice because i'm not the biggest tim burton fan you guys big tim burton fans yeah 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 i mean i I love the music i've been listening to a bunch of uh fucking what's his name yeah danny elf (laughs) memories the the music's i but like the the plot and stuff is like a little out there for me you know corpse bride yeah frank and wiener I regret never. I've never seen those two. Have you, Casey? No, I haven't. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen it. <laughs> Wait, Frank, is that Frank and Wiener? Is that a real one? I think. I think. Frank, isn't it Frank and Weenie? Like a, oh, yeah. Frank, <laughs> Frank yeah. and Weenie. Frank and Weenie is a different one. That's bro. where uh, yeah. John Bobbitt had his penis reconnected, <laughs> then he did the porn, right? Yeah. And it was called yes. Frank and Penis or something. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> that, that would be like a really good movie. I think Tim Burton would be great at that one. Like you know? a drama, but it also like shows his cock like every 15 minutes. Well, I feel yeah. like, yeah, the cock like hardcore be, porn yeah. Yeah. throughout. The, the cock would sex, be its own but... character when it's separated from like John Boppet, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, and it could be yeah. like a prosthetic thing, you know? Like with the shrunken head. No? <laughs> hey, like that's literally it. Yeah. 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 Huh. And then he, yeah. and then John Boppet realizes through like talking to his penis, his singing penis. His Who's own... John Boppet, the guy who started the Boppet yeah, stuff, the, creator of the, the toy? Yeah, it was. Like, yeah, because yeah. it was like when I quit touching myself, when he lost his penis, he had all this creative energy, and he invented Boppet. Yikes! I was yeah. watching some movie, or not some movie, something on YouTube the other night, some crime thing, and some dude was giving people surgeries for uh, cutting off people's penises just in hotel rooms, and it didn't work out quite right. Oh no! Oh man, that's terrifying. Yeah, you have to be a medical doctor um, to do that. Was this on Netflix? No, just on YouTube, some true crime channel I was watching. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. I have you seen know. Doctor to Death? It has, yeah, it has Pacey from Dawson's Creek in it. Dr. Dunch. Son- He's yeah. from Memphis. He went uh-huh. to the rival, uh, one of the rival school, high schools I went to, ECS. <laughs> really? Yes, yes. Yeah. Mr. Dunch. I just always remember that because his name's Dunch. Yeah, Such a good I, last name. I, maybe he had CTE. He played football. Yeah. That'd be crazy, huh? Yeah, people would yeah. say he was always like wasted at work and doing blow and shit. And just yeah. fucking people's lives up. Yeah, yeah. just <laughs> paralyzing yeah. people. Uh, what a fucking so, monster. Just blackout yeah. drunk doing blow, just doing brain surgery. Just fucking yeah. people's lives up. He when like, I used to do blow, <laughs> I think a lot of things sound fun, but doing surgery yeah. on somebody doesn't sound, <laughs> no. doesn't seem fun to me. I feel like it would no. make you super focused right like you know what i'm saying like i got this dude like i'm like be stressful like zoned in but if you, you know? don't know what you're doing it doesn't matter if you're zoned in but right that so could that be was, yeah. that yeah, was like the no big problem with that guy is that he didn't know what he was doing if he knew what he was doing like if he graduated medical school he yeah. did yeah he well, did but he like i don't know he was a 
fucked up. Wow, that that's a big similarity. But so what happened with him though was uh, <laughs> that's he, why like, they did. That's why they made the choice. Yeah, he, he patented some machine that like made the university money, right? So they had a vested interest in him graduating. So he graduated without having to do any of the actual work. Oh. So he was working as a surgeon, but he had like the knowledge of like a second year medical student. Oh, yeah. It's like one of the most terrifying fucking shows I've ever like seen because yeah he like almost like uh, beheaded his friend like his friend's head was like barely connected he was supposed to do like a routine back surgery and he like cut his head off. <laughs> so uh, out of all <laughs> awkward, <laughs> yeah, it out is of all so the... awkward. <laughs> Sorry, dude, I almost cut your head off. I wonder if they're still friends after that. <laughs> no, I don't think so. No. I, him, I feel the least sorry for because you know for a fact like that that guy's a fuck up, right? Like yeah, you're partying with him like the night before the surgery and yeah, they didn't blow that night. Yeah, yeah. dude. <laughs> like yeah, fuck that guy. Uh, yeah, but everybody else I feel bad for. They, you know, for sure. This is a true story. My grandma was a nurse back in the 70s. Yeah. And she claimed that there was a doctor that <clears throat> had patients die <laughs> because he didn't believe women could have heart attacks. He was like, <laughs> yeah, he was like from Pakistan or something, like some <laughs> like Middle Eastern country. And he was like super like sexist. And he literally believed like it was just impossible. So, <laughs> so what would happen? <clears throat> People would die under his watch. So they would have heart attacks. And I assume he said something like, you're probably just too stressed out and like send him home, you know? Oh, and then, yeah. That's probably the last died. thing you want if you have yeah. a heart attack to have to leave the hospital. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> that, that's an interesting way of looking at it. Like they ended up dying, but they died in a good place like mentally. You know? For sure. Because <laughs> they were at home surrounded by loved ones. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And they didn't know it was coming, you know? It's like it's peaceful. Yeah, that's yeah. what I think we all want. It's I was nice thinking, I wanted to bring this up on the podcast, dying when drugs explode in your butt. Like, I know, isn't that like one of the best ways to die? Like, oh, like you're like being a drug courier yeah. and then the packages leak in Boom. your butthole? Yeah. That would, Boom. yeah, you start like, just getting really, really faded and you're like, <laughs> whoopee. <laughs> yeah. And then that's, uh, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, that'd be like, it's probably some of the best moments of your life, you know? It's yeah. like, holy shit. Just having yeah. an eight ball of heroin <laughs> slowly burst in your stomach. <laughs> Abba. <laughs> Arlo. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I say that because that's what's happening to me right now, guys. You Stop. Know? This, is, yeah. this is crazy. Yeah. Look at that. That's a pretty good sized thing, depending on how big that person's hand is. Yeah, they might have a really small hand. There's no way to tell. Yeah, if that's a small hand, scary. Big hand, nah, I'd put that in my butt. I could put a couple of those in my butt. Yeah, if it's You're a big hand. You're not supposed to put hand. more that, than that one, that right? A little like, smaller. That's a little oh, better perspective. So mm. those, are made, those are suppositories. They're made specifically for your butt. Oh, wow, that's big. That is a big... <laughs> you wouldn't uh, put that thing in your butt? That's. I don't know if their hands are small or if the pills are big. You don't have doo-doo? That's what we've been saying. <laughs> yeah. You don't have doo-doo that comes out of your butt that size? But that's going out of the butt. You don't shove doo-doo back in your butt, right? Well, not unless you got to go to work. Yeah. You got to go to work. <laughs> in for trouble. Work. Maybe you're in trouble. Somebody's you, making you. So you better I not thought, be pooping in there. Uh-uh. Oh no, shove it back. <laughs> so, that's why I usually shove poop, it back up. I, there, I, I, I usually poop at work to save uh, toilet paper. You know? So that yeah. Is that shit back up in my butt, man. <laughs> yeah. Dude, you gotta get over here now. My old lady's freaking out. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I'm in the window. <laughs> so she doesn't know you're coming. <laughs> you have to get this shit back up in my butt, man. <laughs> That, that would be a good strategy on a date, you know, if you don't want to take a shit, just shove the shit back in your butt. And then she's going to, you're going to sit down thinking like, hey, I just pulled the ultimate con and she's going to be eating her spaghetti and go, is that <laughs> shit? What's what that smell? smell? Do you have then shit on your hands? It's like, no, what? you're a bad cook. That's what yeah. that fucking is. Yeah, you turn it on her. Yeah, yes. exactly. Yeah, Reverse that's... psychology. <laughs> The hell yeah. yeah, dude! It seems like you know a bunch about that. Yeah, I'm I'm good with the ladies. Ooh. That's all. That's Ooh. all a joke earlier when I said I wasn't good with the ladies. Yeah, no shit, we dude. You're, we yeah. you're joking about some of this stuff. Speaking of being good with the ladies, I've got a poem for you guys. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, maybe we can. It's called. This, and Jack, it's been so nice. <laughs> oh, is this, for is you this to a, be on the show today? I think, I think we're this, almost how, finished. How long have we been doing this, man? An hour. I don't know. Oh wow, that flew by. I know. Um, flew by. Hey, I know. I, I know. 
I said I would name drop someone, Trenton Bradley. I was supposed to be at his party last night, but I said, no, I'm going to be on the William Montgomery Cop podcast. So you, you got to get a good night's sleep. sleep. Yeah. yeah, get a good night's sleep. I got to get it. Yeah, I, get, I had to get a good night's sleep, and I did that well, for you, man. thank you. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. We appreciate well, of it. Of course, thank man. You. This is so cool. Yeah, like, it's, yeah. Well, it's real sweet of you to come on and be so frank about everything. Yeah. And, uh, uh, that, the poems. Yeah. I mean, that, that was quite the treat. It was that, nice. uh, that kind of makes me nervous. I see. I didn't think I was being frank about anything, you know. You're being that, was, that was all. That was all fake, guys. I'm cool. Lots of chicks. Tons of sex. Yeah. Anyway, you don't have to say it. We all. Yeah. We no. It. Yeah. It's implied. Show don't tell. Yeah, exactly. Yes. It's the way you carry yourself. People can tell. This guy can. Grow can don't get down. show. Whoa, guys. That's really grow don't show. Think about it. It's really inspirational. Damn, you know, yeah, don't show off for others. Just grow internally. Just do one to other. Yeah, don't show off for others. Yeah, do what you want to have been done work. to yeah. you. Yeah. Golden rule. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like so, this is called alien <laughs> abduction sex, guys. Woo. Here okay. we go. <laughs> you came down in a shining light, swept me off my feet. Together, space and time are an illusion. There is only us. You probed <laughs> me deep down inside, to a part that no one's seen. And opened up a whole new universe. Wow. I was almost thinking it was going to rhyme at the end. Yeah, yeah, I was waiting for that too. I think yeah. you should add another line where it's like a whole new universe where it's only you and me. I think that would rhyme. Huh. Maybe. To, yeah, maybe that be your one uh, one to, that doesn't rhyme. Or together, maybe be your one that rhymes. Yeah, together yeah. infinitely mm -hmm. or in infinity, floating through infinity. Hey, yeah. There, yeah, yeah, nice. that's cool. Good, right? good, there yeah. we go. I think yeah. it works. Uh huh. <laughs> Works for me, at least. Well, uh, Jack, it's... Yeah, this is great, guys. Thank you so much. Yes. Honored to be here. I mean it. Yeah. <laughs> well, the, thanks William so much Montgomery's for coming William Montgomery's a on. great person. So many people <laughs> have, like, asked me if I know you. That's like, I just want to let you know that. Like, you've got... A well, big... Jack, where can people find you <laughs> online? Uh, uh, Jack Horner Comedy is my uh, my Instagram that I... I or the poem. The there poem. is also the yeah. poem profile. Slams. Yeah. Again. Yeah. What so was it? Post Slams. Uh, yeah, Jack Van Post Slams. <laughs> Poe spelled P O E for poem and Edgar Allan Poe. But, you know, double on Poe slams, yeah. The artist's trick. Yeah. And I only have one follower right now, so this is going to be a good idea of like your clout. Like, yeah, we'll that's see. That's a if, very good metric, you know? Yeah. Yeah. We'll see yeah. if people All can right. do oh. that. Yeah, run it up on your. Uh, <laughs> let's get this guy fucking oh, blow yeah. him up. Yeah, let's run up the. Post slams. Also, you know what to do. I, I, I just want to say something. Last time I was here, right? I said something in this room, right, when we were done, and then I said the exact same thing verbatim outside, like I repeated myself. It was very autistic, you know, but reflecting on that moment, right, that's because I was so nervous, you know, and happy to be here. Well, don't repeat yeah. anything when we go out there in a will. second. I we'll probably will. You. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Like a pack of dogs. The only thing I'm going to repeat is how happy I am to be here, guys. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was wee, a wee. pleasure, Jack. It, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank, thank you, Jack. Okay. Bye. 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 <laughs> Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of The William Montgomery Show. Send your questions, artwork, and manifestos to the William Montgomery Show at gmail.com. Leave William a voicemail at 737 471 1098. And never miss an episode of The William Montgomery Show by subscribing to The William Montgomery Show channel on YouTube and anywhere podcasts are sold. Check out William online at william.f.montgomery1 on Instagram. For more William Montgomery, check out Kill Tony on YouTube and check him out live at the Comedy Mothership in Austin, Texas every Monday night. Find more of me, Casey Rocket, at patreon.com slash Casey Rocket. Follow me on Instagram at Casey Rocket. This episode of The William Montgomery Show was recorded at Record ATX Studios right here in the heart of Austin, Texas. The William Montgomery Show is produced by William Montgomery. The anthem is sung by William Montgomery. The drums are sung by William Montgomery. The words are sung by William Montgomery. The William Montgomery Show is a Fanny Co. production. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Shh, the fuck said that? I'm trying to have fun tonight.